Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our today's webinar. Today we will talk about access control. Specifically, we will talk about physical access control. Today with me are two guys who are presenting about uh, pulse and click solution, basically a solution that uh, enables your keys and access control. So using both of these uh, things in order to make your solution. Uh, with me together is Mr. Henrik and he is coming from Asablo and Simon Wilson as well as coming from uh, Asabloy company. Mr. Henrik is working as a Pulse business man development manager and Mr. Simon Wilson is working as a Click business development manager. Both of them will present you uh, the solution that's called like keys and access control. But before starting with the presentation, let us just watch the video about Asa Ablo to see what is Asablo and what Asablo is doing. Enjoy. Welcome, Welcome to the world of Asa Abloy. Every, Every day, day we create access for billions of people around the world. As the global leader in access solutions, we offer opening solutions, trusted identities, entrance automation and service for companies, institutions, and homes. Since 1994, we have expanded successfully through organic growth and almost 300 acquisitions. Today, we are present in over 70 countries. Our products and solutions create access to your home, at work or school, when you shop or travel. Some products are very visible, like keys, locks and doors, while other products are embedded in solutions like e-passports and identity solutions. ASA Abloy is a large and diverse group, but we also have a lot in common. We share ambitions and we let empowerment, innovation, and integrity guide our work. Together with our customers and partners, we will continue to develop innovative access solutions that help people feel safe and secure so that they can experience a more open world. We create access for euphoria, for reunions, and for greatness to come. Welcome to the world of Asa Abloy. This was a video about a short video about Asa Abloy and Asa Abloy is doing. Now we are ready with the presentation. As I said, with me are Mr. Henrik and Mr. Wilson. We believe that um, Henrik and Wilson are ready with their presentation. So, hello Henrik, hello Wilson. So you can start with your presentation if you are ready. Thank you very much, Saeed. So welcome to everybody joining us today. Uh, just a very brief introduction on today's speakers. Myself, uh, it's Mr. Simon Wilson, as you've heard from Saeed, and I am the Click Business Development Manager here for Asa Abloy. I've been within the security industry at Asa Abloy for 18 years. I switched to working with digital security around about eight years ago, as I started to watch the, the trend of the security industry move from mechanical towards the digital era. Henrik? Thank you, Simon. I'm Henrik Dein, Business Development Manager for Pulse within EMEA. I've been with ASA Abloy for more than 11 years until, until eight months ago when I joined the DAS team within EMEA. I was Export Manager for Scandinavia, where I worked with the full range of our products from mechanical products like hinges and architectural hardware to electronic solutions as digital cylinder, ele electric locking and online access control. During my years at Asa Abloy, I've seen the market moving to more, towards more flexible and convenient solutions. And in the last couple of years, the interest in the market for sustainable solutions have increased. We are, as we are living in a world that continuously are changing, tomorrow will not look like today. We also must cope with a growing population and an environment under severe pressure. 
New technologies are developed to help us, but are also challenging us on security for how to keep information, people and communication safe. Security is increasingly under threat from more and more sophisticated attacks in both physical and cyber spaces. The rate at which these threats are emerging is also speeding up. Security systems must constantly be upgraded. Static security is not going to work. System needs to be dynamic, flexible and scalable on demand. In today's webinar, we will present as an Abloy's key-based digital solutions that can meet tomorrow's challenges. Hopefully, we during the webinar can share some of our some of the knowledge we have gained from talking to many customers who are just like you. Experience has taught us there are no one-size-fits-all ways to meet the challenges which we are facing in security and access control. We will always have one eye on budgeting. This is the reality facing companies of every size today. Money is not unlimited and cost efficiencies are always welcome. We aim in the space of 45 minutes or so to give you some tools to make the best decision on security for your premises, industry or other specific circumstances. And then over to you, Simon. Thank you, Henrik. And so before we set off on our digital cylinder journey today, it's important that we look at where you may currently be uh, as a business, especially if you are still using a mechanical master key system around your site. You can see on the screen down the right hand side some very commonly asked questions that take place when we visit sites and we start to discuss what the clients are perhaps requiring. In my experience, however, it is far more telling if we ask three simple questions. When did you last do a key audit? How long did it take? And how many keys were actually missing? I've always found that customers using mechanical master key systems often potentially don't carry out key audits with the frequency that perhaps they maybe should do. The reason being is that they're often laborious in their undertaking with potentially thousands of keys to audit and persons that need to be chased up. There's plenty of administration as well involved. And often when you have finished them and you discover that there is a key or indeed multiple keys that are missing, then it creates a previously unseen difficult situation that then has to be managed. So hopefully now you've asked yourself those three questions and identified your current status with the management of keys. And I, I hope you've answered them truthfully, in all honesty. What if I told you that by switching to digital cylinders, you can indeed run key audits in a matter of minutes. You can see who has got keys issued to them. You can see where they are, when they've been used. And you can attain a level of key control that is simply not possible with mechanical master keys. I'm sure that as responsible businesses, you would be more than interested in having that level of control. So as we've just highlighted, mechanical keys, they're not the easiest to manage in reality. Convenient, perhaps, because that's all we've ever known in the past and it's all we've ever had fitted into a door. But today we want to show you how making a switch to smart locking can really um, can really help you in uncover the benefits that you can build from your business. We're all human and we all make mistakes. And if our audience today on the call is anything like myself, then you're always misplacing things. The loss of a key, however, it can have dire consequences on any business level. Losing a key, be it by accident or by malicious intent, it can have expensive repercussions from both a financial but also from a publicity perspective. As you can see here, a couple of pretty real statistics 
that concern both the time and cost element of lost or stolen mechanical keys. Now, mechanical keys have been around since the time of the pharaohs. And you can look at this two ways, either fortunately or unfortunately. Times have changed significantly in the last few millennia. However, the humble mechanical key hasn't changed all that much at all. When, of course, you hand out a mechanical key to a staff member, then you're, you're essentially giving open-ended access to those areas that the key controls. Now, of course, not all staff or indeed all people are malicious or indeed intent on doing wrong. But as you can see from the stat in front of you on the screen, it shows us that 17 percent of businesses that had been surveyed had actually fallen victims of theft where the perpetrator had gained access to the area of the business via the use of a mechanical key. If you think about it, it could be small things like stationary from the office lockup. But it starts small and it escalates from there. We never know people's circumstances or backstories. And so loss prevention after the incident can cost business big money. So where are your keys? Who has got access? You've answered our three searching questions that I asked at the start of the presentation. How many keys were actually missing from your system? Do you actually know in total how many keys there are supposed to be allocated into your system? Do you actually know if any illegal copies exist in circulation? These are very real concerns that must be addressed when using mechanical keys. But these are incredibly difficult to answer because of the nature of a mechanical master key system which is why moving to a smart digital system means better control for yourselves. Just as an example here for you on screen, we have a news article from uh, the UK with a very real incident of when a mechanical master key system fails. An ex-employee used his knowledge of the buildings and the site to undertake a spate of burglaries and thefts after he had managed to gain access to a system master key. It wasn't picked up initially, and it wasn't reported as a lost or stolen key. And this allowed the perpetrator time to undertake their illegal behavior. And ultimately, and unfortunately, it cost the NHS hospital in question almost 150,000 pounds to replace every single lock in order to regain key control. Just as a, as a second example here for you, we have on screen an, an incident of mass fraud, which took place after staff had access to areas of the building, which if potentially had been fitted with smart digital locking, and then it could have potentially been prevented. The staff were able to gain access areas um, of where the PPE storage was. And they were siphoning off stocks and selling it back to the hospital in, in what was described, as you can see, as a, a mass fraud. Ordinary mechanical locking cannot cope with the pressures modern life places on working environments. And the simplicity of upgrading to smart technology eases all of these burdens. Digital cylinders and keys would have very quickly highlighted who was accessing these areas, what dates and what times, and the audit trails left could have conveniently and easily helped this department solve this issue. So we're now slowly establishing the pitfalls connected to mechanical key systems. Open ended access via keys issued to staff. Basically, a mechanical key either always opens or never opens the door. There's absolutely no personalization of keys and access rights. A mechanical key has absolutely no audit capability. So you do not know any of the keys daily stories and you are essentially operating blind. As a security person, then you have no idea who is going through which doors and when 
And of course, managing keys in any kind of volume is hugely administrative. And without perfect key control, it's far too time consuming and it's inaccurate. This leaves you at a huge disadvantage from the offset, especially if you're required to respond to any incidents on site. Now, I've mentioned audit already. This is a huge disadvantage with mechanical master keying. You have zero capability to track or trace keys in the system. Throw into that mix that despite the so-called copyright protection on mechanical keys, 3D replication makes it far easier these days to copy keys. Printers and acrylics can be purchased online relatively cheaply now as well. And of course, you will always have the perils of lost or stolen keys, meaning that your system is completely compromised. So how do we change all of this for you? And how do we make you feel safe and happy with the humble key once again? The answer is that we move you conveniently and easily from the mechanical world to the digital world. Back to you, Henrik. Thank you, Simon. We now go into key-based access control of today. In the, in the world of access control, a big variation of hardware is called digital cylinders. Today, we'll focus on the key-based digital cylinders. But what are they then? We simply take a well-proven mechanical cylinder and key platform, develop electronic components and software that are secured by encryption, and adding these into cylinders and keys and make sure they can communicate with each other. And that's give you a key-based digital, key digital cylinder system working like access control. We'll now look into four main areas of how a key-based digital cylinder system can be beneficial for you in your daily work. We will look into how you can increase security, how digital cylinders can manage access based on individual needs, how digital cylinders can give you control of all access points on your premises, no matter where, and how a key-based access control system can improve your efficiency and save costs. Simon, will you take us through the first one? Yes, thank you very much once again, Henrik. So our arguments for digital cylinders, they are slowly starting to stack up. Many benefits mean that the positives outweigh the negatives. We can now talk about how and why you benefit from increased security. A smart key, it, it not only being a physical object that you can hand out, but it will also allow you to bespoke program it to the user. It can match perhaps their security credentials for site, or indeed their, you know, their, it may be a key that belongs to an engineer and they have to work to individual health and safety certificate, certification levels. But the fact of the matter is, that a digital key becomes a bespoke user key, unique to the individual that it is assigned to. The issues, as we have highlighted, that are connected with lost or stolen mechanical keys. Well, with a smart key, it's simply no problem. A lost or stolen smart key can individually be removed from the system almost immediately, and all of the associated risks and concerns are erased. There is with digital cylinders, the potential to offer hybrid capability with smart cylinders and keys. And this means that they can be mixed with mechanical locking around a building. This means that in a typical building, high security areas can be covered by smart digital cylinders. And less high priority areas, well, these can be secured just using the mechanical element of a digital system. You may have noticed now that on a few occasions, I've mentioned audit capability. This is something quite obviously that mechanical locking cannot offer. However, with smart cylinders and keys, then you have the capability to collect audit information, not only from the key, but also from the door. This is invaluable if you've got a security breach or a health and safety incident and you want to investigate it. 
It's also excellent if you wish to read data back from a site on who is doing what, where, and when. Many of the types of benefits that you see with a digital cylinder access uh, system, th these concur with what you may have seen from an access control system. And of course, finally, we also have the increased security by means of double validation for users. And this comes via the keys, also using mobile, mobile apps and a pin validation method as well. So quite comprehensively, digital cylinders start to offer far more from a security perspective. So quickly establishing that digital cylinders can offer indeed increased security, then it's also fair to say that you get the benefits from their associated features, such as like I just mentioned, this capability to individually bespoke program keys or user keys. Audit capability offers users a, a level of in-depth data that mechanical keying it, it just cannot attain. But not only are we limited to these additional features, we also have others, such as the capability to set, for instance, a validity period on a key. This means, once activated, that a key can work between designated times. Perhaps you may want it to work in accordance with a shift pattern or, or a rotor of an employee, or to offer access to a third party contractor at set times of the day or the week. Suddenly, your capabilities are being increased and the possibilities, they start to become endless. So utilising all of these new features and functions that we're starting to hear about, with the use of digital cylinders, you get, to, you get a sense that you really do get a level of control that mechanical just cannot deliver. If you currently have any access control in and around your building, as I've said, you will be seeing similarities in what digital cylinders can do for you. Any door, anywhere, even perimeter fences, from vending machines to storage areas, anywhere can be upgraded. From a usability perspective, you can define time zones and calendars. You can set individual access rights, of course. As you now know as well, you can also pull audits from the system. And you heard me say you can get audits from the door or audits from the individual user's keys. You can build on the levels of security that you wish to have as you really do start to take full control of what your keys on site can and cannot do. So I wanted to show you here in front of you on the screen now, you have a very brief overview map of a, a sample building schematic, we'll say. And this shows exactly where digital cylinders can be deployed around the building. We have locks available in almost every single format required. And the padlock range is extensive as well. So this, this means digital cylinder coverage is at an absolute premium for clients wishing to make that upgrade. Each individual system is bespoke, manufactured for your environments. So this means that you get exactly what is needed to create the perfect security environment on your site. So you may now be asking yourself, well, OK, what goes into making a complete digital locking system? Well, of course, you have the hardware. You've seen the, the cylinders and the padlocks. We have a comprehensive range of all these components for virtually any type of installation. Then, of course, there's the smart keys. Obviously, this is a, a vital component of any digital key based cylinder system. We have the update points. Now, update points, these allow administrators to send vital access permissions to key holders remotely. But these also receive audit information back from the key holders. These update points, they can be centrally fixed, they can be uh, externally fixed anti-vandal updaters, 
There are mobile updaters for businesses, perhaps, that have a mobile workforce on the go. And then, of course, there's desktop programmers for system administrators. Then we have some management software. This operates in the background and it helps keep everything running nice and smoothly. Back to you, Henrik, now. Thank you, Simon. The installation of a key-based digital system is an easy task. Digital cylinders do not differ in shape and size from a mechanical system. So installation cost will be equal to an installation of a traditional mechanical system. And as a digital cylinder works in the same way as a mechanical cylinder, you don't have to make any changes to locks and accessories around the door. The concerns of a lost key are disappearing with a couple of clicks in the administrative software. Lost keys are simply blocked in the system, and if someone tries to update a blocked key, it will not work, and you will be able to see the attempt of updating a lost key in the audit trail. The planning of a key-based digital system is not different to work you have to do for planning a mechanical system, but you have the advantage to be able to change the access rights when needed for each individual or group of users. So daily administration of a digital system is more around update of access rights than considering which cylinders you will have to change due to a lost key. The power used in a digital cylinder is in the smart key. The key will either be powered by battery or will use kinetic energy created by inserting the key into the cylinder. This means there's no need for higher hard wiring to the door as in the installation of a digital cylinder is equal to an installation of a mechanical cylinder. Digital cylinders can be relocated if space uses change or offices are relocated. You don't need to make any changes to the digital cylinder. Just remember to update your administrative system with the new location and adjust access permissions for users accordingly. Lost keys can be reused. As, re as, as administrator, you can swipe found keys and keep them on stock until you hand out a new key to an employee or contractor. Digital keys will not operate any cylinder until they are activated, so you can keep stock of spare keys without jeopardizing security. This also gives the advantage that you don't have to wait for new keys from your supplier, but immediately can program and hand out a new key to a user when needed. Digital cylinders and keys only use energy when they are operating, not like a hardwired access control system, which are powered up constantly. This together with fewer installation and maintenance visits to your access points and reuse of cylinder and keys all contributes to a more sustainable security system. And now back to you, Sam. So a big question that gets asked frequently is from clients, well, okay, who is using digital cylinders and where? And we have today a multitude of clients who have taken the step to migrate from mechanical locking to digital locking. You will find digital cylinders in just about any type of vertical and environment. We have education, critical infrastructure, medical, leisure, uh, there's retail, banking, the list goes on, transport, even sports stadiums. Perhaps today on, on our call, some of our audience are actually from some of the verticals that I've just mentioned. But just to give you a couple of examples of usage, this is, I do apologize, it's UK centric, but a couple of uh, examples here. We have Twycross Zoo. And they saw potential in both the security element, but also from a health and safety perspective as well. Being able to control which staff could have access to dangerous animals and their enclosures, but also the capability to meet the stringent health and safety requirements that are required 
on a site like a, a zoo. We, we also have Festival Place Shopping Centre again here in the UK. Uh, and they had had a, an on-site issue with a lost master key. It had been picked up in, in an audit and it caused a major concern as it's a major security breach with public having uh, access around the site. They were looking for a like-for-like -like replacement of the system. But when they saw the benefits of the increased key control, then it, and it was also a simple change to fit into the door, then it made perfect sense to make the upgrade from mechanical to digital. We have many global brand names today too that also use digital cylinders as replacements to their old mechanical master key systems. So let's take a look at two of the key-based digital cylinder systems that are available from ASA Abloy. We have Click and we have Pulse. Both offer wonderful features and benefits as an upgrade from your basic mechanical master keying systems. And you can see here from our technical comparison that they're similar and yet different. Our Click system it utilizes a long life lithium battery and it's it works in the key head very much in the same way perhaps as what your car key does today we also have um it, it also meets of course high security standards it meets all of the global and of course regional standards and certifications as well there is a, a ble element available should you have a mobile workforce indeed you may also have perhaps you know, potentially you may have geographically challenging business but you, know, you may have a geographically challenged business as well you've got multiple sites here there and everywhere so a central location is perhaps not required so a ble key makes perfect sense to use there is also a full comprehensive premium product range available and it is built as i, as I said previously to your specific bespoke requirements the Pulse digital cylinder system, however, it utilizes green kinetic energy by the insertion of the key into the cylinder. And it utilizes a product range that can be best described as perhaps off the shelf, which of course meets regional certification standards as well. So let's take a, a look at Click. And I'm now going to give you our elevator pitch for click so here at asa abloy we, you know we we understand all of the daily challenges that the modern the modern workplace can pose our products have always been built to reflect the challenges faced by our clients which is why well you know we felt that it was now time the time was right to to bring the humble mechanical key into the 21st century our workplace environments, they're rapidly changing. And to reflect the modern connected world, but yet somehow the key, it, it remains at the center of everything that we do. The key is, in all its forms, a critical element in almost every security system. And as such, like we did at ASA Abloy, we felt that it was time to bring the key into the 21st century. And ASA Abloy's click gives the user the greatest possible flexibility in managing permissions and schedules for keys, doors and users, creates an extensive range of cylinders and high security padlocks for many access points beyond doors. This means that ASA Abloy can deliver a true wire-free solution, creating true freedom basically to manage your keys remotely with, of course, the capability of added integrations via API and app functionality, then we have made the key far greater than its mechanical predecessor, meaning that anything is possible with Click. The power really is all in the key. So what goes into making a complete Click system? Well, you've seen this slide a few, few slides back. We've got several parts to make the whole. 
we have the hardware, the cylinders and the padlocks. Then we have the click smart keys, the personal part of the digital click key system. And of course, a vital component. We have the update points so that these can be centrally fixed. These can be centrally fixed wall updaters. These can be external. We do have anti-vandal external updaters. And as you heard me say, we have mobile updaters as well for the businesses that are on the go. Then, of course, we have the Click Web Manager. This is the administration management software. This allows all of the administrators to run daily tasks, book keys in, book keys out, change access permissions, keep an eye on audits. The general day-to-day -day tasks of, of running a, a key system. The, the, the Click Web Manager keeps everything running smoothly. So why would you choose a click system? Well, you've just seen why digital cylinders make such a perfect upgrade um, from what you know today about mechanical cylinders. But, well, why would you make click your choice? Well, for a start, electronic master keying is the most flexible way to manage and control physical keys for building management. A user's key today can be programmed to operate a single door at a single time during the day. Tomorrow, with a little bit of management and flexibility, that single key can be changed to operate every door on site. The power is truly in your hand. There's no need for bunches of keys anymore. You're moving to one key to manage everything. And as you're now fully aware that a digital key, it, it means that you never suffer any of the associated risks or concerns with lost or stolen keys ever again. You can run key audits in minutes with a frequency that you will have probably never experience before, meaning that you can attain that level of key control not possible with mechanical cylinder systems. Programmable cylinders and keys, then they offer maximum flexibility to meet your business needs. That audit capability that I keep referring to, that aids that ultimate level of key control that everyone really is searching for. There's no wiring at all. This is easy retrofit solution. It means that any door anywhere can be upgraded. And just to finish off all of these benefits, then click is maintenance free. That's right. You don't have to do any maintenance to the lock in your door. You have a maintenance free digital solution. Back to you, Henrik, to talk about Pulse. As I upload Pulse is a digital locking technology incorporated in a self powered cylinder, padlock, and reusable smart keys. Quick to install and easy to operate. Pulse give you the power and intelligence of electronic access control with no need for batteries, wires, or any external power supply. Pulse is built for any environment where security and simplicity works side by side. With access control powered by the latest energy harvesting technology, Pulse provides a forward-thinking solution that also contributes to long-term sustainability. With Pulse, the power is in your key. The, but what is then the Pulse system? Yeah, like in Click, we have a bunch of cylinders or in many shapes. We have a wide range for Scandinavian, Finnish, DIN lock cases. We have cam locks. We have padlocks also, a wide range of those. And the Pulse cylinders and padlocks are programmed on site by using a programming device connected to your mobile phone via USB. Using the ASA Upload Device Configurator app, all communication between your phone and system software are secured. The keys, of course, plays the most important role in the system because it works as media for data transfer in the system. The key connects the software where the locking plan is created and updated with the locking components installed on the door. 
When the key is operating the lock, it will be updated with the latest system information, including updated list of block keys. The Pulse cloud-based management software that are developed on the ASA Abloy in Sedo platform is used through browser. And it can be reached wherever you are, and that gives you flexibility to administrate the system using tablet or laptop whenever you need. The keys can be updated in two different ways, either via a desktop updater connected to your laptop or very soon via an update reader. So why Pulse and how can we solve issues? In Sedo Business, the administrative software for Pulse are working as an access control system. You can have wired or wireless readers in the same system as Pulse. Pulse keys have a built-in RFID tag. The Pulse key is all you need as a credential for all access points in the Insedo access control system. Insedo Business is a cloud-based system, which means you can administrate the system no matter where you are, as long as you have the laptop or tablet connected to the internet. All access rights for both Pulse cylinders and other kinds of readers are programmed to the user in the system. Soon an update reader, which work as a normal reader for a hardwired door, releasing the lock on the door, and at the same time work as an updater with access rights for Pulse cylinders will be available. Placing the update readers strategically you can ensure that all users always have updated and revalidated their credential. This will also ensure that your audit from the complete access control system is up to date as possible. Insta installation of a pulse system is not difficult. All mechanical cylinders can be replaced with a digital cylinders. As mentioned earlier, Pulse is an energy harvesting solution, so no wiring or power supply is required. All maintenance needed is updating the software. We will now take a quick recap of today's webinar before we go to a statement from one of our clients and a Q&A session. From today's session, we hope we have highlighted how easy transition from a mechanical master keying to smart digital security can be, that smart digital security has a multitude of advantages around security and data. And over to you, Simon. Learned a little bit on how potentially you can reduce costs, you can cut your energy bills, and you can contribute to a greener world through better sustainability, utilizing your business security. And we hope that you've got a better understanding, really, of which smart solution would benefit your business the most. I'm now going to hand back to to Say, and he's going to take us through a, a video before we do a, a Q and A session. Thank you very much. With patient care at the heart of every hospital, NHS trusts need to ensure they provide a safe and secure environment. ASA Abloy's specification capability and Abloy's drug management solution help hospitals focus on delivering quality patient care by using digital technology. It's another busy day at Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham, where they see nearly one million patients a year and run at near 100% capacity. To manage numbers like that, a big part of achieving efficiency is the technology that governs who can go where. Another area identified by the government for major efficiency savings is medicines and drugs cabinets, where security is central. A recent study by one NHS trust showed nurses spend as much as 40 minutes in an eight-hour shift looking for keys to drug cabinets. But Abloy's ProTech 2-click user-friendly remote locking system means that more time can be spent on patients and its digital usage trail adds an extra element of security. Now every nurse who needs to administer drugs to patients has their own trackable key. 
Scunthorpe Hospital was the first to put this system to the test. Since installing Protect 2 Click on our ward drug cupboards, we've found that the wards that have it, their drug cupboards are locked all the time. So as chief pharmacist, I'm very pleased that medicine security has improved. The nurses also like it because it saves them so much time and they, they don't have to go around looking for the keys and they can then uh, spend that time actually on direct patient care. And the pharmacy here in Birmingham have found other benefits besides the vital time saved for nurses. It doesn't take a significant amount of capital resources to install the system. It is the actual lock system itself that you're installing, which is battery operated. So it's, there's no concerns in relation to having new power going to, to cupboards and you can retrofit it to cupboards you've got in place. The other aspect which we're extending it to next year will be around patients be able to access their own medicines. So some patients who want to take their own medicines from a cabinet next to them, they'll be given a credit card type swipe and they can just utilise that to then access the medicines and self-medicate while they're in the hospital. The system also has the ability to invalidate lost or stolen keys, thereby assuring tight key management at all times. Henrik, Simon, thank you very much for your presentation. It was quite insightful. You, you, you over the stress. <laughs> uh, once more, thank you very much. Uh, just before skipping to Q&A uh, uh, session, we have two questions. Uh, one question is from me. Uh, you pointed so many uh, advantages comparing, right? Using uh, smart digital keys, comparing to old mechanical keys. What would you point out as, a, and what would you highlight as the most important feature of this solution. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take this one, Henrik, if you like. I think yes. the, the, the biggest benefit any user gains from upgrading from mechanical locking to digital locking is the fact that, uh, you, you heard my questions at the start of the presentation. If you went back to your business this afternoon, tomorrow, and you did a key audit, how long would it take you to do that key audit? And when you finished, how many keys would be missing? There's a big problem when you use mechanical keys. When you're using digital cylinders, that problem is completely eradicated. You have absolute key control because if you do do a key audit and you do find that a key is missing, then you can delete that individual key from the system. And the fact that you can run a key audit in a matter of minutes using a, a key based digital sy system, it's a huge advantage. Thank you very much, Simon. Henrik, do you have anything to add? You can say one other benefit uh, is that, we, as Simon mentioned, going through the mechanical system, that we, you gain 24-7 access with a mechanical system, that with a digital system, you can simply secure that no people are running around your premises during night uh, and control when people can come in also. That's a huge benefit and also security-wise and health and safety helps uh, that way. So. That were, was what I would like to add to that. Thank you very much. Uh, we have two questions from our uh, participants, from our uh, audiences. The one is how to do balance, how to do balance need for rapid access with the need to store keys securely. Oh, okay, so, so I, I guess really the uh, the audience member that's asked that question is potentially talking about uh, they maybe use key safes. Um, obviously, key safes have a place in a business. Of course, they do. They're exactly what they say they are. They are a safe that keeps keys safe. However, that does not stop the problem of lost or stolen keys. With a key safe and a key based digital cylinder system, you would be doing what I would call belt and braces security. So you would be having the best of both worlds. And we do have a number of clients today that actually use a key-based digital cylinder system with the added security of a key safe. I think you may have actually seen in the video from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham here in the UK, they actually have, they utilize key safes with a key system. Thank you, Simon. The second question is, to what degree is user education important today? 
Um, okay, let me see if I interpret that question correctly. So um, you may be talking about um, the potential of receiving audits from the user's keys. Yeah, I, I, I may have mis misunderstood that question. But what I would ask you is, when you are, or, or if you experience any problems on site, when you're using a mechanical key system, that's a bit of a nightmare situation for you to try to uh, resolve if you've had a security incident or you've had a health and safety incident. If you've got the added capability there of being able to pull an audit from either the door or the key, then surely that audit is going to help uh, and aid you as a business. You may not wish to look at audits on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, many of our clients that use digital cylinders they're not using them just for the simple fact that they can check a key audit and they can see where that key has been. But it, it's there as a backup in case there is a, an incident and they have a process that needs to be instigated to research that, uh, that incident. Thank you very much, Simon. Uh, we don't have any more questions. Uh, dear participants, thank you very much for attending today. Hope that it, it was interesting for you. Uh, feel free to contact us as Adria team or directly Henrik and Mr. Simon uh, if you have any further inquiries or if you are interested in uh, this solution. Uh, Henrik and Simon, thank you very much for this uh, presentation, for your effort, and see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.